I'm here with Ashley. And Ashley, we're gonna do a high fashion mohawk that we're gonna do. So we'll be, how we're gonna achieve that one. So we already started her prepping. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna take section in the center and you really wanna, gonna take a section and you're gonna go in and you tease it really good. So you're gonna get the base starting and you can tease as much into as you want to. Take every little section, bring it up towards the center. Take the next section on the side and you really wanna bring it towards the center up there so because we wanna bring it all up. And you see it's gonna get already started. As you're gonna see, it's gonna get already into the mohawk, faux hawk category. So it's really, Get started. Then we're gonna use bobby pins. And I'm gonna show you how you're gonna place them. We're not just gonna put them around this one. We're gonna take little sections, take the section like this, smoothen it with your hands a little bit, bring it up to the center, and put the bobby pin downwards. So you're gonna get this little section. Then you can take the next one. You see how I'm gonna pull it up with my hands? Not really a much thing. And when you're gonna take the pin, bring it over and then pull it downwards. So the pin is not gonna be shown. So then we're gonna take the next section. So you see it's gonna give you a little bit of design in it, it's just not gonna pull up. So this is where we're gonna move into the high fashion category because I mean, everybody can just put it up and put a put mohawk in there without any detail work. This gives you a little bit more detail work so you're gonna make sure that it makes appearing like you put a lot more, more time into it even if you don't but it looks so much more kind of like a style of design into it and you see how I'm gonna put it I put the section and then I twist and I bring the pin down so you're gonna see the little intention where you're gonna get it gonna give you a little bit of nicer design and you're gonna take it all the way to the middle and then the bottom, you want to bring it a little bit up because otherwise you have it sitting in your neck and when you move your neck, then the bobby pin may gonna slide out. And so you're gonna move it. And then you're gonna see already how the faux hawk's gonna get started. The ends, we want to have it kind of like a little bit loose falling around so it's not looking like you have it just stiff and sprayed up all the way away. Then we move over to the other side. The other side, we're just gonna do the same thing. Bring our sections up here. So we're gonna get the bobby pin started in here. And you can do as small a section as you want to. If you want to make it even smaller, you can make the section smaller. Like if you want to take a half section like this, then I'm going to go like this. But I like it a little bit more wider. So you see, obviously you want to go up and twist it and you want to go down. So it makes, makes more the bobby pins secure so they don't slide, slide out. And then you can take a section and we want to have it a little bit falling down. So if you want to have something drip around your neck, so for extra accessories, if you don't want to wear any necklaces or something like that, so have something coming down. And then, just gonna form the hair in place. Get a little bit more teasing within there. in between and then we can get a little bit more attitude going towards the front. 